I think one of the most encouraging things a believer can do is be willing to wrestle with God. Now, I did not say challenge God. I did not say, you know, doubt God, but I mean, wrestle with God. And to be honest, this is actually inevitable because God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So us interacting with God and fellowshipping with God and, and, and being in close proximity with God, you're going to run into a ceiling anyways because he's going to present things to you. I mean, even the idea of loving other people. The Pharisees struggled with that. They wanted to stone the woman to death and Jesus extended forgiveness and everybody's scratching their heads. Right. But I think one of the things that we can do that is so encouraging in our walk, if you can embrace the, the, the temporary discomfort, is wrestle with God because it's going to be inevitable. And here's why I say that. What if God is actually making good on his promises? You are just comparing them to other things. Let, let, let me bring that back, because to add context, we live in the world of social media where we can examine a person's curated life 24 seven, 24 seven. We can examine a person's perfect marriage 24 seven. We can examine a person's uh, a person's athletes highlight reel or all of their achievements. We get to see these things 24 seven. Right. And God is making good on his promises. He doesn't fail. He's an on time God. But when you live in a culture that we can constantly and so easily look this way and this way and what my neighbor's doing and what my mom want me to do and what my family members want me to do. God is making good on his promises. But are you just comparing them to other things? And when I say wrestle with God, I don't mean that you you taking God on and you're going to reveal something new to him. When you wrestle with God, nine times out of 10, you're going to walk away with a revelation about your own struggle. When you wrestle with God, nine times out of 10, you're going to walk away with a revelation about your own obstacles. And a lot of times it's not nobody. It's nobody else. Embrace that. If you want to start growing if you want your faith to start blossoming, if you want to get beyond God, I'm always needing a materialistic blessing. If you want to get beyond past all of those things, Michael Jackson said it best. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. When you start there and you say, God, OK, deal with the person that's in the mirror. OK, God, deal with the person who said they weren't who didn't do what they said they were going to do. God, deal with the person who let themselves that when you start there. And this is what I mean by being willing to wrestle with God, because this this is scary. God, deal with me as you see fit. That's scary. Even me saying that now, Lord, I'm like, oh, you know, being willing to one, start with you and saying, OK, God, I want to get in the ring of my doubt. I want to get in the ring with all of my limiting beliefs. I want to get in the ring with all of my conditioning, God, and, and break the molds. That is when we really start to change. That is when we really are able to create capacity in ourselves to love other people. Right. People who don't wrestle with God or who shy away from the concept of wrestling with God. I'm not judging them, but look at their ability to love others. If you won't let God break you. It's going to be very hard to build relationships that's built on love. If you won't let God break you, it is going to be extremely difficult to establish relationships built on love. Right. When you allow God to break you, you start to understand, man, this thing doesn't matter. How people see me doesn't matter. My ego is actually a prison. I no longer want to perform for you. When God starts to break you, like I said in a previous episode, when the maker breaks you. I'm praying this is blessing somebody when the maker breaks you, he has the material to make it bigger and better. Oh, yes. I'm praying that just gave somebody freedom. I'm praying that just gave somebody clarity. I'm praying that just gave somebody peace. When the maker breaks you, he has the material to make it bigger and better. So do not be afraid to wrestle with God. Now, I put in parentheses. I didn't say challenge God. I didn't say blatantly disrespect and just he, no. He's big God. Right. You might walk away limping. But if you want to grow and if you want to really stop allowing the man in the mirror to be your greatest obstacle, 
God, I want to get in the ring with all of my doubts, all of my fears, all of my worries, all of the materialistic gods that I've been serving God and deal with me. And, and see, after you say amen, that God doesn't start to move in your life and establish the things that Instagram doesn't care about. Instagram doesn't care about integrity. Instagram doesn't care about commitment. Instagram doesn't care about keeping your word. Instagram doesn't care about um, <clears throat> developing your mind, right? When we start with the man in the mirror, this changes everything because when we walk with God, the work will always be an inside job. Look, man, thank y'all so much for joining me on another video. And here, I'm going to be honest with y'all right now. Y'all forgive me. I am a true creative at heart, clearly, because every episode I got a new setup. But I got to stay inspired. I got to stay. I got to stay on it. So y'all, everybody that's coming back and you watching videos like, man, he got the camera here. He got the camera here. Got... Y'all bear with me. I would much rather just be a creative all over the place. And, and, and communicate and be obedient, then be a perfect creative and saying, yo, I'm going to start doing videos in a year. That ain't happening. And as always, my friend, until next time, y'all be blessed.